What's up guys, Chris is the games here and today Chris is back in Minecraft in the Lynx SMP server joined by Charles the Browser. He's right up there. And today we are gonna do a very special episode. Today we're going to go into the nether for the first time. It's gonna be it's not gonna be Chris's first time, but it's definitely gonna be my first time. Because... Well, like first time on the server for me. And well, first time yeah, at, in first all time for you. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, the nether. So to gear up for the nether properly, we uh, took some of our findings from our cave exploration, and we've uh, relocated or allocated them to better equipment and stuff. Joseph has a has a enchanted sword and uh, chest plate and leggings and a pickaxe too, I believe. Yep. Sweet. And I have. A protection three and breaking three diamond enchanted chest plate, protection three and breaking three diamond enchanted leggings, efficiency four pickaxe, and a diamond sword. So we're gonna. Oh, I also have an enchanted shovel for efficiency three. Look by at the. Way. the uh, look at my art first before we go. Ooh, where's Just your art at? Up here. Remember there was a random. Uh, oh. I'd say oh, this was you. Oh, that's who that was. That's. Ascending necessity. I love it. Yeah. We because parkour. What, oh. <laughs> the, most the most necessary thing in Minecraft is a crap crafting bench. Exactly. And it's like a staircase. Because like Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. But... It's like literally All half right. the game. All right. So I'm Wait going a to. Before we go, I forgot. I need to drop off some of the building materials that I was using for the house. I need to drop off a couple things here that I won't be taking into the Nether with me. Uh, these pickaxes can be combined, even though they're both really good. We'll combine them to make an even better pickaxe. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go back up to the house. I need to drop off the building materials I had. Don't take too long. And can I throw away this protection one? I'm breaking one leather tunic. If you want to. Okay, because we're never realistically we're never gonna use that. Is there a way to get enchantments out of stuff? Nope. Or, or at least not yet. Okay. That might change. Might not change. Might change. I hope so Mojang comes up with that. Throw... Okay, zombie. Uh, nothing personal, but... Boom! You're lit on fire, bitch! <laughs> nothing, Make it! Nothing personal. Boom. I lit him on fire. Alright, I'm going to throw that stuff away. We don't need that. And I'm going to do something with this iron sword. I'm not going to keep it with me, though. Because I don't won't need it. Also, flint and steel, let's not forget to bring that into the nether. I have, let's use I your have uh, nether essential checklist to figure out what we need to bring. Oh yeah, I have it. I have it. Hold on. Let me put this stuff away and then I'll open my Minecraft book. Okay. There's a spider on our stuff. I Too won't. bad you're lit on fire. Yeah. Alright, so I got... You got wearing diamond stuff. <laughs> I got everything I need. I'm going to grab a bucket of lava on there just in case I need it for anything. And... With that all said and done, I think we're I'm good to go. And uh, we will wait on uh, Joseph. In the meanwhile, I'm going to repair my booties. Booty, 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 booty. Can I do this? Maybe. Well, we could stop by the chest on the way out. Probably not, I need... though. Yeah, I know. I need to do that in an anvil. Okay, I'm able to get rid of some of the stuffs. And I can. I'm gonna take the fast way down. Go over to that pond that we made in the farm. I'm gonna show people my skills. All right, go for it. You can see the pond. Let me yes, see if I can, I see, can you. see you. Ready? Yep. Cannonball! How anticlimactic. <laughs> it, it wasn't supposed to be like that. I, I'm honest. <laughs> All right. All let's, right. Let's, without further ado, let's do this. And this should give us the achievement. And if not, then I don't know what's even up. But this should give us the achievement. Um, we need to go deeper. Because we never, we need neither to of us go have been on, deeper. Neither of us have been in the Nether on the links yet. So, and I have never been in the Nether period, so I think it's um, it's safe to say that I am in capable hands with Chris. So people well, have been like... in... 
people have been in here before, uh, so there might be a nether, nether hub, and the area might be cleared okay. out. Enchanted armor. Check. Well, not for me, yeah. but you've got it, so you're good. Enchanted weapons. Double check. Several stacks of cobblestone blocks to create safe paths and build a barrier to protect your nether portal. Ooh. Check. Yeah, Flint okay, and cool. steel. Definitely check. Torches. Check. Food. Check. Let's go. I'll go first. I've never been through. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, Ooh. son. Achievement. We need to go deeper. All right. Ooh, check out this nether hub. Oh, my gosh. And immediately I'm hit with lag. I really like the design. Yeah, oh, actually. Well, yeah, totally. Yeah, it could be better. It's like a, <laughs> like a sci-fi thing. I'm okay. I guess this is showing a view. Yeah, I guess. It's cool. I mean, uh -oh, symmetry-wise... Don't this worry, our other leg will catch up to us eventually. This should be all black stained glass symmetry-wise, but it's cool. It's cool. All there right. are four nether here. Cool. Yeah. So, Bar that on the XP farm. Do you want to go, uh, like, exploring? Maybe a little bit, but not... Alright, alright. Like... So let's get the coordinates down to this door. That was really... That's a really convenient thing they put there. Four... Seventy-one, twenty-one. All right, let's go. I'm gonna turn my render distance a little bit because nether. Ooh, lag. Okay, whatever you hey, do, don't man, hit those doing, things. Brother? I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna bring my fishing rod out because it's li very likely that we'll run into ghasts while we're in here. If you do hit one of those things, pillar up immediately. Oh, by the way, can I have some blocks? Pillar up immediately so that they can't reach sure. you. Sure. I didn't bring a stack, I'll but I've got these. That's cool. I really need like three and I should be good, but either way. Careful not to fall. The music in the nether is trippy. Ooh, I haven't. And I hear a ghast. Alright, let's take a listen. Let's go, uh, let's get, oh, we need to, we still need to pay back, uh, Varsat for borrowing some nether cords of his. So What's happening, dude? Let's get some of that before we leave. Huh. They How don't would... even pay attention to you most of the time. The pigmen? Or the ghasts? Yeah. They're nice. Oh, yeah. They don't care about you until you, you hit one of them. You gentlemen until you smack them. Yeah. Let's this is very much like a space station. I think it's really cool. Psst. Psst. Where are you? Up here. Turn around. There you are. By the way, Varzaz found our prank. Oh, I found... Oh, yeah. He did, so we'll be sure to link him the uh, video soon. I'm coming with the fishing rod. I'm coming with the fishing rod. Oh, crap. Come I'm on. I'm coming with the fishing rod. When I get him... Is that all you got? I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, Watch ow, out, there's ow, fire. Ow. One fire. One fire. Almost got him. I missed. I got him. <laughs> I got a ghast here. I think it's nice. some invisibility. Yeah, I think you're right. I and here, take, take this I while we're here. Thank you. Uh -huh. I could use some of that. Ooh, XP. Yeah. For those of you that Gladly. are wondering, that's my plan for taking on the Wither. I'm gonna, we're gonna lure the Wither into a corridor with explosives, and then blow him sky high. <laughs> nether rack, perfect. I need nether rack. It's all over the place, man. Get some. <laughs> oh, oh crap I forgot about that what the quartz come over here I'll show you so right. here T borrow my pickaxe real quick come here come down here borrow that pickaxe it has efficiency 4 on it and just mine some of this some of this nether rack out the other one not like my, my the pickaxe I lent to you this is the pig, actually. Oh, wait, you're right. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. Hold, hold down the button and, like, click and drag. <laughs> like a machine gun. Isn't that so satisfying? <laughs> it is. I need some of this nether rack because oh, yeah, um, go for it, I'm man. making. Here, take this. I'm too. making. I'm making a. What's it called? Here, catch. Thanks. Find you. There you go. I'm making uh, a fireplace for the house, so I need I nether rack because it burns forever. I hope you guys can hear that, but I'm going to turn the volume up in, if, in case not. Oh, that's 
sound is so satisfying. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna waste my waste my pickaxe really quickly, but it's so satisfying. Joseph, have this. Hey, brother, how you doing? Don't mind us. We're just uh, moving along. We're just exploring the exploring another exploring another. Ooh, I get to mine quartz for the first time. Sweet, another quartz. We'll need that for solar panels if we ever make them. Yeah. <laughs> Which might actually be, not be a bad idea for... Oh, there's another for fortress food. down there. Oh, people have already been through it, though. Figures. Didn't, do the wither skeletons still spawn when it's like that? When it's like what? When... How should I... When... What, how, what was I saying? When it's been raided? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the way it works is with your skeletons will always spawn where like as far as X and Z coordinates go will always spawn um, on the where nether fortress paths are located. Oh, there's another fortress path. Yeah. So even if you take out the road that's there and replace it with something else It'll still spawn there, and then between a certain y coordinate, uh, I don't know what that is, but between there somewhere. Um, so yeah. So you you could you could make a f a farm if you had like two and a half high gaps, so the wizards can spawn there but can't move because it's two and a high two and a half blocks high, um, and then you can farm them. But yeah, they'll they'll still spawn as long as there's a platform for them for them to spawn on in the right coordinates. Man, I didn't think quartz would produce in this much, much quantity. Oh, by the way, here, take this, too. Oh, a baby zombie pig, man. I've never seen that before. Oh. So cute. All right. So what do you think of the nether, Joseph? Ooh, we've got a bunch of mushrooms over here. It's creepy. Look, go oh, grab nether wart, too, if you find it. Nether wart. Oh, uh... There... I, I don't think there'll be any, because the nether fortress is raided. Oh, right. yeah, you're right. Okay. So there's probably oh, no yeah. left. Oh, I'm going to grab a bucket of lava, though, before we leave. If I can find a lava source I can easily access. How do you reflect a uh, ghast's lo lava ball back at it? click on it at the right time. Oh, like a lightsaber in Star Wars, basically. Sure. Huh. Oh, there's a lava source over there. I'm going to get it. If I don't fall off. Oh, Oh, where'd you go? Ca there you right are. over there. Right over here. I don't want to get lost in this damn place. I got you, man. Thank you. I could so... die. This is basically the Minecraft equivalent of hell. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Look at the biome in your F3 menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, and there's glowstone. Ooh, there is. I don't know. I don't. Let's not risk getting it at the, in this trip. All right, good idea. Maybe some other time. Yeah. As much as I want to make a chandelier for uh, a house, I think safety takes primary stuff. Excuse me, fellas. Let's you all go, having a good time go down here? Way. Good. Cool. Oh, look, we're back at base. Oh God! No! Ow! Well, we're back at a base. Oh, we can go underneath here. Cool, awesome. Excuse me, boys. How you doing? I like the design of it. It looks really, really sci-fi. Yeah. So no lava, but that's fine. We'll get it some other time. Whoa. What? Oh, here. Oh, 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 soul sand. Oh, don't, Is don't that touch dirt? that. Don't touch what? Soul sand. How come? Oh. Oh, sorry. How come? Because it makes you go slower. Oh yeah. And if you put ice underneath it, it makes it go even slower. Wow. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, welcome to hell. This is definitely hell. And if you stand this way and look out mm -hmm. this way towards the soul sand blocks, there's faces on there. Oh, man, you're right. <laughs> Ugh. That's why they call it soul sand. Exactly. Oh. All right, let's head on back to the overworld place is creeping me All out. Right. 
It is. It is, especially with the music. Oh, I never even heard the music. I have my music up, but it's not playing anything. Oh well. All right. Yeah, nice nether hub though. I really like the design. It's like short, simple. Yeah. Now, which portal did we come out of? Is my question. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right, hold on. Let me go down this corridor. I want to see this real fast. All right. There's a gas. I hear a gas, but oh look, to Varsab's zombie XP farm. Maybe later. Chris, what did you do? What do you mean? There we go. Where did you go now? <laughs> did you leave this world already? <laughs> Crap, because I don't know there you are. <laughs> Alright, let's head on back. Let's get out of let's here. Let's take different nether portals. Ooh, creepy. Different nether portals. Quit <laughs> following me. <laughs> okay, oh, you go different first. Nether portals. You go in that one, I'll go in this one. Alright. <laughs> it's going to end up in the same place. But... There. Yeah. Now, if you ever want to play a really mean prank on someone, um... Uh -huh. When someone's in the nether, block up the nether portal, so like this, and just uh -huh. all the way around. Because once when you're in the um, when you're in this thing, you can't interact with the block. Oh, maybe you can. When you've come back from it, like when you're coming into it from the nether, you can't interact with the block, so you can't break anything. And it's, yep. since there's no space, you can't place anything, so you're literally trapped there. Like <laughs> there's absolutely nothing you can do to leave. Lol. You can't relog because it'll keep you there. And you can't go back into the nether because you still have that wavy effect on. The only thing you can do is type in chat and ask for someone's help. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're lucky enough that someone else is on. <laughs> yeah. I took on a guest for the first time with you. Sweet. The Minecraft oh. book was helpful, but I couldn't snag it with the fishing rod. So. By the way, take this as a token of our first visit. Nice. Guest tier. Alright, so let it be no shown on camera right now that I went back to Varsab's place and I repaid him the one nether quartz I took from him. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And but. I will do my best to give interest. <laughs> and in the next weird, episode... Though, there's less lag in the nether. In the next episode, we'll probably work on uh, getting... work on getting the... Uh, Who's McCall is it? Okay, right there. Nether Quartz 47. Boom, 48. Working on getting the Birch platform set up in the Stonebrook Station. Uh, we do, we are going to split that off into two different platforms, one inbound and one outbound, so that um, we can control the rails easier. And before I forget, uh, I'm going to pop on... 48, 49, 50. Before I forget, I'm going to pop onto my single-player world real quick, and I'll show you guys the design I have for the... Um, mine cart stations. Yep, all right. So, well, um, you these... can do that. I'm going to just stand in the uh, spawn house, the spawn house and uh, remain there because I've got to go to bed like really soon. I got really busyness going on tomorrow. I got you. So, um, real quick, here is the design for the station. This cyan stain brick can be a place with anything. Um, let me get rid of this mine cart cuz he's not spawning right. So pretty much, um, I, I kind of took it off someone else's design, reworked it so that it's one way, and then changed this so that it could take minecarts coming in at full power. Oops, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> and so I'll when, watch the video. Uh, the minecart comes around. This detector rail here automatically detects when the minecart comes. Uh, it waits about four seconds, gives you a little tune, and then takes off. And it should be placed right so that it's, yep, there it goes. It takes off by itself, even if it's empty, or if there's someone inside of it. Um, so this means that these are completely autonomous, without any human interaction. This will keep going. You can also put minecarts with chests on here and deliver things to other stations with people waiting, which is super cool. Yep. Yeah, it's super simple, very resource-friendly, except for the sicky pistons. Those slime ba ball balls are impossible to find. 
Um, but yeah, I'll make a tutorial on this so that you guys can see how it's done, but it's wicked easy. So I'll pop back onto the server, and we will thank you guys again for watching. As always, it has been a pleasure doing this video with you, Joseph, and going to the nether for the first time. Where are you? Oh, the house, yeah. Probably. Yeah, I'm at the, the spawn house. All right. And before, oh, the spawn house. All right. So thank you guys again, as always, for watching. Make sure you leave a like and drop a comment down below if you like this video. And if you really liked it and want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Remember, Chris is the games. I'm his brosif. And Chris and Joseph the brosif. We'll see you guys next time. See you later, everybody.